So I've seen a couple videos on YouTube of how to make your bracing for square and rectangular tanks using a circular saw and a hose and things like that. But this is how I made the euro bracing for my curved fish tank using a glass cutter and some sandpaper. And this will obviously work on a square rectangular fish tank as well. Um, I picked up this fish tank for $10 at a local thrift store because it had a broken edge. So there I'm taking some rough measurements for how long the braces need to be. And there you can see that, that broken side that I had to replace. Uh, I picked up a 7 mil tempered glass tabletop for $2 at a different thrift store, but I'm reusing this piece for the center brace. I'm using this other piece of glass as a straight edge, and then I'm making a, a quick mark with my magic marker, and then I'm using my drywall square, just kind of tamping that edge down into the mat. That helps stabilize it, and then the drywall square acts as both a straight edge and also a guide, so that then I can just push my glass cutter against the side of it and score a straight line down it. Then I pull the piece of glass out to the edge of the rubber mat. I'm using this block of wood to distribute the force of my foot and then I just step on it and snap off the piece. I haven't had any glass break this way um, but you can use a table or whatever you feel comfortable with. Now the next step for the center piece is to mark the center of the tank and then I'm going to mark the center of the brace itself. Now marking the center of the the tank and the brace help give me a reference point but in re in in marking the the center brace I'm only marking the top of this and so it gives me an orientation so that then I can follow the the contour of the the curved front of the tank because it isn't exactly uniform. So for the, the center brace, it's going to be recessed down into the tank. The edge braces will sit on top, but I use the magic marker on the inside of the tank so that um, it will be the, the right dimension to sit down inside. Then I just freehand the curve. I'm pushing my fingers against the glass to kind of slow down the cutter blade so that it doesn't move too fast. And this turned out really, really good. I experimented with some sharp curves and they all snapped perfectly along the score line and so this light curve worked great. I just set that against my rubber mat and then stepped on the other half and it broke perfectly following that contour. There were a few irregularities in my curve. Um, that's because of the, the crappy glass cutter I was using. I ended up halfway through this project going out and getting a nicer one but you can see some, some bumps. but. I decided to set up my belt sander on my vise and then use that to sand down the edges of the curve it, itself just to add a little bit of uniformity to it. Um, just kind of bringing down some of those, you know, the angles and any little bumps that may have sat out there from snapping off the glass. So now I'm doing a rough fit and this is one of the important parts of drawing the center mark on the brace itself because it didn't it didn't fit just right because of the curve of the glass wasn't uniform so then I had to flip it over and here you can see where the edge of my brace isn't lining up just right and so then I, I flip it over and then it will fit in there perfect so after snapping it the edges are sharp so we have sanding I'm using a foam sanding pad it seems to work great for taking off any sharp edges on the glass. Um, it just kind of bends and provides a really smooth corner. So now I'm cutting out the other pieces. This is the leftover pieces from that tabletop that I used to replace the, the side panel on my tank. Marking a straight edge using the drywall square and then snapping off one of the corner braces. Then I'll snap off the second corner brace. Then I'm going to take these in and set these on top of the tank. Now for the corner braces, I wanted them to sit on top of the tank instead of being recessed like the, like the center brace. So for this one, I, when I took the magic marker, I, I score on the outside of the fish tank glass, the from the front of the fish tank glass. And I've also pulled the the piece of glass a little bit in from the back. So that 
that back on the back plane of the fish tank I'm actually pushing in a little bit so the piece of glass isn't exactly flush and the reason I do this is so it will be recessed a little bit so that it will sit inside the fish tank and then after I draw the score line it's I found it was really helpful to write left and right in the upper corner so I just drew a little L and a little right just to let me know give me an orientation of what the top and bottom of the piece of bracing was and then it also obviously lets me know the left side and the right side and this is me using my new cutting wheel that I went out and bought it worked a lot better my other one had a flat spot on it a dull spot and so I wasn't able to make the curves perfect um, it wasn't coming out smooth so if you don't have a good glass cutter it might be worth the four dollars to go out and buy one this one came with six spare cutting wheels on it that you, you can just flip around and then use that so after free handing and scoring out the line uh, you can see it goes pretty quick it's it's not too tough again I, I'm pushing my fingers against the glass to kind of slow down the, the cutting wheel to add a little bit extra friction to slow the whole process down then I just pull that curved edge out to the edge of the rubber mat and then again I'm just gonna take the block to distribute my force and then I'm just going to stand on it again and then it snaps and follows that curve that I put into the glass from the cutter and this one turned out a lot better than the other one because I had that new cutter you can see my old cutter there in the laying on the t-shirt but this edge just came out perfect but I still decided to take these edge pieces over to the over to the belt sander just to give it a little bit of extra sanding to pull off any edges or irregularities before I went and did the hand sanding to pull off the the sharp edge um, I did a lot of sanding probably about an hour uh, maybe 45 minutes an hour of sanding just to make sure they were really smooth especially the center brace because I don't want any fish to come up and you know be biting at the surface of the water and accidentally cut their lip so I ended up using a trash can and a book in order to find just the right height you could probably use printer paper if that didn't work and then I'm scraping off any leftover silicone from the old frame that used to go around the top of the fish tank Then I'm using some isopropanol to wipe away any residue and just kind of clean up everything and make a nice clean mating surface for the new bracing um, and this also wipes off the letters the left and right so I kind of have them set in place of where they'll go and then after laying down some silicone I just free handed and set it down and then I didn't push down on it until it was ready here you can see some masking for the centerpiece I wanted to do this because the centerpiece would be recessed and that masking just provided a really clean look and then I just gently push out on the back panel after getting the front panel in because um, I wanted the front panel to be perfect and the back panel came out perfect but just in case I made that the last movement and the corner panels were still wet so they were very forgiving of the little teeny push and then while the silicone was still wet I pulled away the the masking and it came out looking really good so here it is drawing I used some extra books to hold down the silicone and um, after the silicone dries and sets up then I'll go back with a with another knife knife edge and a razor blade and scrape away the extra silicone on the corner panels the center panel is is perfect and then the the edge panels will be the corner panels will be perfect after the silicone sets but it looks really good so i hope this helps you in setting up your your bracing